Hello, my fabulous third graders. Uh, last week we listened to a little spot of anxiety, and this week I wanted us to listen to a little spot of responsibility. A lot of us are having to think more about being responsible at home with getting schoolwork done and making really good choices when you're doing school at home. So let's listen to a little spot of responsibility. Hi, my name is Spot. And I'm not just in any ordinary spot, I'm a little spot of responsibility. I'm here to help you make good choices. I've never seen a responsibility spot before. I want to make good choices. Every time you make a good choice, your responsibility spot grows and it makes you feel more confident and happy. That's why I'm going to show you ways to make good choices to grow your responsibility spot. Did you know you have the power to make choices? We all want to make choices that have positive outcomes and that's why I made this little decision chart to help you. Stop and identify the problem. Gather information, think about the positive and negative consequences, make a choice, and then reflect on the outcome. You're going to experience a lot of choices in your life. Some decisions are easy and some are not, but in order to have the best chance of making a good choice, you should try to use the decision chart. Let's see how the decision chart works on a choice you make every day, like what you should wear. Problem, you aren't sure what to wear. Information, it's pretty cold outside. If you wear shorts, you might get cold. Choice, you wore warm clothes. Reflection, it was a great choice because you weren't cold. Adults have the ability to predict consequences you can't yet. They can do this because they've been making choices a lot longer than you have, which gives them a lot of experience. They have a lot of knowledge that can help you make good choices. That's why it's important to consider what adults say. For example, babies, 1,000 plus choices. Child, 10,000 plus choices. Adult, 100,000 plus choices. And elderly, 1 million plus choices. get a puppy. Sometimes you may want to take on a big task and need the help of an adult to make a choice, but they may not agree with what you want to do. It's a good choice to start off with something that doesn't require as much responsibility like getting a plant instead of a puppy. Puppies need feeding, bathing, walking, training, etc. and your responsibility spot may not be big enough yet. Caring can grow your responsibility spot. Playing games is a lot of fun. It's a good choice to play by the rules and not cheat. Honesty can help grow a responsibility spot. You shouldn't leave your toys out because they can get damaged easily. It's a good choice to put things back in their place and not just throw them in a closet. It lets people know that you can put things away properly. Being reliable can help grow a responsibility spot. Try to do something for someone where you don't expect a reward in return. It's a good choice to help clean up even if you didn't make the mess because it's nice to help. Kindness can help grow a responsibility spot. How did this mess get so big? I'll help you clean it up. Sometimes it's easy to blame other people for the choices you make. It's a good choice to accept responsibility for your actions even when it's hard to do. When you do this, you gain respect from others. Trust can help grow your responsibility spot. I'm sorry I didn't mean to knock over the vase. Look around and be aware of your surroundings. It's a good choice to do things before you were told, like putting your toys away when you are done using them. Being proactive can help grow your responsibility spot. We all want things to last a long time and we don't want them to get injured while using them. It's a good choice to practice scissor safety, not poke holes in erasers and keep the eraser on the pencil. Sit while cutting, pass scissors handle first, hold blade down when walking, walk slowly when holding scissors. Respecting things can help grow your responsibility spot. Click caps so markers and glue don't dry out. Use as instructed so they don't get damaged. Clean up your area when you are done so nothing gets lost. A calendar is a great tool to help you remember dates. It's a good choice to turn in assignments when they are due. Staying organized can help grow your responsibility spot. Showing up when you are supposed to is a great way of demonstrating you value other people's time. It's a good choice to be on time to school, an event, or an activity. Being punctual can help grow your responsibility spot. When you have a lot of tasks to complete, it can be easy to forget a couple of them. It's a good choice to create a list so you can remember to complete each task you agreed to do. 
Being dependable can help you grow your responsibility spot. To-do list, feed the fish, return library books, set the table. If you're feeling pressured to do something you think is wrong, it is a good choice to say no. Courage can help grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes your emotions can get pretty big. It's a good choice to guide your big emotions to a peaceful spot. This not only helps you, but the others around you too. Managing your emotions can help grow your responsibility spot. There are a lot of things that you could do yourself instead of having your care givers do them for you. It's a good choice to try and get yourself dressed, make your bed, and turn off the lights. Taking initiative can grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes it's hard to remember to do things like your homework. It's a good choice to have a schedule so you know what needs to be done every day and at what time. Like doing your homework as soon as you get home so you don't forget. Creating a routine can grow your responsibility spot. It's important to take care of your body. It's a good choice to eat well, keep clean, and get plenty of rest. This shows that you care about yourself. Being healthy can grow your responsibility spot. We all want to stay well. It's a good choice to cover your mouth when you cough. Being courteous to others by not spreading germs can help grow your responsibility spot. Okay, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to grow your responsibility spot. I actually have some other spots I'd like you to meet too. We all belong to the happiness family. Respectful, thankful, honesty, organization, courage, patience, and kindness. We have read most of these, and the ones that we have not read, we definitely will read over the next few weeks. I will talk to you guys soon.